Hello, so following on from my other video, I'm now going to show you, hopefully relatively quickly, of how to set up a kind of a Linux environment, so, well it's actually going to be Python, and using uh, the OpenCV uh, library attached to that. Uh, OpenCV uh, enables, well it's going to be the enabler really to allow us to read from the camera. So. Without further ado, we'll just go into this. I won't do at the moment an instructional video of how to get Python uh, loaded or uh, boot an image on Rubs Repi. There's loads of videos out there. I'll find some on the that are relevant to kind of get you up and running. Uh, but what you might want to do is, if you're struggling, just drop me a message and I might do another video actually on how I would do it and get up and running as quick as we can. So anyway, without further ado, uh, here we go. So I've set up a, a folder called USB cams. Uh, just for reference, this is on a Linux machine. Uh, it's not actually the Raspberry Pi, but there's nothing to stop this from working really, uh, unless someone proves me wrong. However, let's get cracking. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to detect the the USB cameras uh, and make sure that we can actually play around with them because there's nothing worse than going through all of this only to find that the USB camera doesn't work. So what we could do is we'll do a small command which is ls space dash ltrh and space and forward slash dev video and then star and basically what we're doing is basically wants to pull out uh, anything that's really going to be with video and star and the star I'll, I'll explain in a second uh, is a wild card uh, and basically anything that's in there so what we'll do is we'll press that and off we go now here we go so this is it's got three in total so uh, video zero is actually the first USB camera, I think. Well, we'll soon, we'll soon find out anyway. Uh, number one is uh, the integrated web webcam, so that's on the laptop, and number two. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unplug one of them. Uh, so I don't know whether you can hear me just unplugging that now. Uh, what we'll do is we'll then see that we're down to uh, only two. So now, in fact, I'll just unplug the other one just to prove the point. Do it again. So video two is my integrated uh, sc integrated screen, integrated camera. So I'll just plug the uh, the one that we are going to be playing around with, the USB one that I showed earlier, and then so now I know that I'm quite happily. I'm going to need video zero. So that's fine. So that's all done. So if we just uh, keep a mindset, it's going to be video zero. So if you want to write it down somewhere uh, on a notepad entirely up to you I mean it's not gonna be difficult to remember but you know if you want to do it that way so what we'll do is just clear that and now what we want to do is set up our first Python uh, script so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do sudo nano there's another thing called VI I can't remember what it's actually called but I prefer doing it this way everyone's the same you could use a standalone text editor uh, but this works for me uh, if you follow it like the through this I could almost assure you won't have any problems so what we'll do is do sudo nano and we'll call it uh, we'll call it video zero for argument purposes and then call it dot py now what's that's doing in almost the um, the windows element if you want to say is what we're doing is we're actually uh, wanting to start a blank uh, text file uh, but the text file is going to be uh, with a Python extension, that's the uh, .py. So as long as we do that, we should be okay. So press return, and that's my password, and off we go. So now we are, we are in the realms of creating our first Python script, just to literally get the screen, sorry, the screen, I keep on the screen, getting the camera to boot up. So what we'll do is uh, for Python, we'll import we want CV2. So that's one of the first ones uh, that we want to do. Now you can do one of two things. You can either do import time or we could do it all in one hit. 
uh, entirely up to you. In fact, there we go. So basically what we're, that, that's doing is we're saying that we want to use OpenCV and then on top of that we we'll want to import time. Time's going to become relevant in a little bit later in the, the code itself. Uh, the reason being we've got to put a little timing exercise in there but um, I'll explain that as well in a second. So what we're going to do is uh, so it's best practice uh, I have been bad at it before but uh, what we want to do is we'll set up collecting images for USB camera okay so to do that all we want to do is say video equals CV2 dot video capture and then bracket now I'll leave this here for a second. So what we'll do is explain again. So what we'll do is put a variable called video is equal to importing of CV2. And within CV2, the library from within there is we want to take out the video capture and we'll bring in the video capture or we'll get it to work. And this part here, this is where you use your uh, number of the um, video reference uh, from earlier, so we had uh, 0, 1 and 2. Now for me, I want to have 0 because that's what we want to, we wrote down. So that's the first part. Next part, what we'll do is we'll set to a variable to allow the, uh, the while statement. And now, a while statement is basically saying while uh, a condition is true or false, do something. So to allow this to happen, and essentially this is going to go around in a loop. What we want to do is do a equals zero. Uh, you could put b. You could put you could put anything that you want to in there. But a is an nice easy one, so that's fine. Next part is what we want to do is put it together. So, I hope I press the right button. So, put the video into a frame. Now, when we refer to a frame, a frame is essentially when you open up uh, a window like you would do a browser window or a program might pop up. Uh, that, that is essentially our frame. Uh, so think of a picture frame. That's probably uh, essentially where it's all come from. So, that's that. Now, what we want to do is say, while true so this is where our while statement comes in so with with Python and a Linux environment uh, you have to indent the code so this next part if you press tab on your keyboard uh, it might do that green thing it might not it depends on what you've got and what we want to do is put a equals a plus one so what we're doing is say, well, a equals a plus one, which is one, because a is the variable of zero. It'll always be one. So why it's that, what we want to do is check, uh, put frame equals video dot read. And what we're, wanting, what we're basically saying there is um, the, the frame that we're being pulled, we're pulling in, we want to read what we've got. So now we want to show it. So show frame. And this is where what we're saying is the, the CV2 library. We want to IM image show. That's how I'm interpreted anyway. I will do for a little plug of mine, DIY at nightvision.com. Uh, so basically what that is, is uh, where you would have a the, the frame or window open. You would normally have something along the lines, of, I don't know, for example, uh, on um, Windows, you would probably have uh, Internet Explorer browser, what is it, 11, 12, I don't know, I haven't used, uh, Internet Explorer for years, or or Chrome, or something like that. 
that's what it is. And then what we want to do is say we want to bring in the frame itself. So we've created a frame up here and basically we're reading the video. We put an image and then showing it. So that's fine. Now next we'll put key key could be anything actually uh, but we'll use key uh, cv2 weight key one and the weight key element as we've pulled in time up here basically what we're wanting to do is uh, th this is this is obviously an understanding from my side is my mindset was thought that when you actually applied the video it would just read the video but as we know if you wind back many many years these uh, films came out as individual frames one by one and what we're actually saying here is we want to wait one millisecond before the next frame is generated um, I believe that's right but you no know, someone can correct me if I'm wrong but it works so I'm not going to complain anyway so next part so press so we want to actually uh, get this to stop if we need it. Uh, so uh, press Q will close the window. So, so that's that. So basically what we want to do is put a NIF statement E. So key double equals odd. So if key double equals odd, and then Q again, Q could be any letter. It could be T to for terminate, Q to quit, E for end, C for close. You know the list goes on. I mean, you can you can pick anything that you want to. Uh, Q is a good one, uh, which will be working fine. So then what we want to do? Oops, wrong button. Next line, and then we want to put a break in there, and the break will uh, kind of just end things off. Uh, within the while true element uh, unless the if key is pressed so that's fine now what we want to then do is once you do the press once you've pressed the quit button what we want to do is we actually want to terminate the whole kind of um, video recording element so so what we want to do in fact we want to put a switch off camera once Q is pressed. So to do that, we'll do video release. And then to tidy it up, right, all windows. And that is it. So that will get us onto having the, basically the video recording, not recording, sorry, wrong, wrong word, video displaying. So, all we, do, we want to do now is, for me on this is we control and X to exit. Uh, down here it will say save modified buffer. Uh, yes, we want to save it, so press Y. File name to write video 0.py. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's it. So now, if I do ls, basically that lists all the files in a folder. So I've got video 0.py. So to run this, I do python video 0, oops, 0.py. And hey presto, will it work? Go on, wakey wakey. There we go. So go right, so so we know it's all uh, recorded right. So you can see just by the, the colour of this, it's uh, the infrared filters off. And there we go, job done. So I'm going to call that quits for now. Uh, if you are at this level, let me know. I'm going to try and rattle out the next video, which will be to put the crosshairs on. Uh, just to give you a bit of a hint, the crosshairs, if we go down here, you can see here some uh, variables. So you've got your horizontal and vertical. So this 
if I go along here, is a basically a 640 by 680. We will cover kind of the, the screen size in itself because this I think can then be applied to different screen sizes. Uh, so whether you've got a, a five inch screen, three and a half inch screen, two inch screen and, and so on. So we'll play around with that. And But the next video is gonna be about building your own crosshairs with this. So hope you like that. Uh, I'm enjoying doing this by all means like share and subscribe to this the code will be put on here um, www.diynightvision.com uh, so if you want to have a look there and by all means basically just cut copy and paste pop that code in save you having to type it all which is a blessing anyway catch you later bye